Hello guys, this is Tim Solo from Ahrefs and today I want to show you how to find sites that are highly likely to link to you. You're watching episode number 9 of the oversimplified SEO. How do you know if someone is likely to link to you? Well, if some site is linking to a few of your competitors but doesn't link to your site, that's probably because he doesn't know about it yet. So your job is to reach out to this guy and look for opportunities to get included. Let me show you how to do this. I usually try to come up with a case study to better illustrate things that I'm talking about in my videos. And today's episode of Oversimplified SEO won't be an exception. The website you see on my screen uh, is a little side project of mine uh, called TweetThis. This is basically a WordPress plugin that lets you create uh, tweetable quotes. And obviously there are quite a few competing solutions that I have opened here in the tabs of my browser. So the first one is click to tweet online service. I'm sure many of you heard about it because it's a very popular service. And the other two are uh, word free WordPress plugins uh, that you can find in WordPress.org plugin repository. One is called Click to Tweet by CoSchedule and the other is called Better Click to Tweet. So now as the owner of uh, Tweet this website, I want to know if there are any sites that link to three of my competitors but don't link to my site. And luckily here at Ahrefs we have a tool that does just that. Uh, it's called Intersect Tool and you can find it under Labs drop-down menu. As you can see the tool is pretty much self-explanatory and it says show me who is linking to all of the below targets but doesn't link to uh, the other side. I'm going to fill these three targets with websites of my competitors that I have here and the last one with my own site. Done. For click to tweet I'm picking the domain option because I want to get all links to any pages on this website and for other two plugins in WordPress repository I want to see people who are linking to the exact URL of the plugin, because if I pick domain here, I will get links to all other plugins that reside under wordpress.org uh, domain. And for my own site, I also pick URL, because the uh, plugin page is situated on the home page, and I also have a blog, affiliate page, and other pages. And I'm only interested in people who link to the home page of my plugin. So I click show link opportunities. And they get a report with four different sites and each of them is linking to all three of my competitors but don't link to me. For every one of my competitor sites uh, there's a dedicated column and under that column you can see the amount of backlinks coming from each of these four sites. Uh, and if you click on the little expand button here you can check the exact uh, page where the links are located. For example, let's check which page on the seoplus.co.uk website is linking to my competitors. I just open this page in the new tab. I can see that this is a recent article from July 22 written by Hazel Jarrett and if I scroll down a bit I can easily find the mention uh, of two of my competitors, uh, Click to Tweet by Today Made and Better Click to Tweet plugin. He says that both of them are fantastic plugins. So what I might do is look for contact information of Hazel Jarrett, the author of this article, uh, show him my plugin and persuade him to put a link to my plugin right next to the links of uh, these other two competitors. There's a chance that he might actually do that. 
Now let's go back to the link intersect tool and see what other sites are linked to all my competitors. Let's check for example this one allenh.com. Again I click expand and open the page that is linking to all three of my competitors but not me. From what I can see this is some kind of community website where people can ask questions and get uh, replies. So someone was asking for click to tweet alternatives and the other guy replied to him with quite a few options but he didn't link to uh, my own plugin. So what I would do is just uh, create an account at this site, uh, this is free as far as I can see, and leave a reply with a link to my own tool. So this is how you find new link opportunities with the Trev's Link Intersect tool. Uh, but as you can see there are only four websites that link to all three of my competitors. That's not much of link opportunities. So I might want to check websites that link to any two of these three competitors. And with Link Intersect I can easily do that. I just click back, uh, it saves my previous search. And here uh, in the show me who is linking to option, I change from all of the below targets to any of the below targets. So that the tool will show me uh, sites that link to any two or any of my competing sites. Now this is a much bigger list. As you can see at the top uh, there are the same four websites that link to all three of my competitors. You can see this uh, here in the intersect column. Uh, and then you have uh, quite a few websites that link to two of the three competitors. And uh, the competitor that they are not linking to uh, is marked with uh, not available. All these websites are great link opportunities because they link to a few of your uh, competitors but don't link to you. So your job is to uh, open all these pages that link to your competitors and see if there's a chance for you to secure uh, a link to your own site on this page. That's it for today's episode of Oversimplified SEO. Link Intersect is a great tool and I'm sure if you play with it for a while you'll discover lots of great link opportunities for your website. And now I want you to do two things. First, subscribe to Ahrefs YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And second, watch my previous video about broken links and broken backlinks. It's cool, I promise you. So that's it. Bye, guys.